is about X guy. And this has a cool little fade in, which is kind of nice. Looks like we're on point, I thought we were on point nine, point two. I don't even understand how things upgrade without you knowing it. This is pretty amazing. Okay, so that's, that's he's the owner, writer of it. So that, that was, those are the only two, look at how it fades away again when I hit close. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so that's, um, those are the two things under help. And speaking of graphics, I'm hoping and I'm pretty sure that this, the site is going to be friendly. The tool is going to be friendly, easy to use. It's going to be pretty. It's not going to be ugly and hard to figure out. Both the website um, as a licensed member and, uh, and also the tool itself should be, have really nice graphics and easy to move around and get around. So I'm looking forward to that. So moving along this menu, we've got categories. And this isn't too complicated. Um, you can expand all your categories. Did you see that movement in the background? Yeah. Or you can collapse all your categories. And there is movement going on, believe it or not. Let's see if I move up, maybe you'll see it. Uh-oh. Blue donut. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to make an X Sky category. Under contacts, I'm going back to Skype. Under contacts, you can create uh, or you can um, show your categories. Now it defaults to, this used to be called groups prior to version 4, like in 2.8 Mac and 3.8 Windows. Let's see. Contact categories. Used to, you just have to enable, now it's called C all contact categories. So yours will default will be sitting here. So you want to do that and then you want to create new categories. So if you don't have XSky yet, you can start setting up your categories right now <laughs> within your own Skype. I have lots of them. So um, do I have an XSky category yet? Well, I should only because See, I've been teaching this since 2008 with, with Message Magic, so I've got lots of categories. You can create a new category. Okay, so um, I should have a new category called X Sky. And did I not finish it? I'm trying to show that it got created. Maybe I didn't finish it here. Let me check. Oh, oh, I didn't. Okay, so I'm gonna hit. I proved to you it should be at the bottom. X guy um, that I don't have a category yet called that. So I'm actually creating the category within my Skype right from within the tool X guy. So I went to new category and this came up and I'm typing this in. Create new category. And I typed in X guy. So that category is going to be created here within X guy. See, it's gray instead of blue? Yep. Okay, there's no contacts in it. Um, now let's go back to Skype. Hello. X guy. See, that wasn't there before. Yep. So that is the beginning of awesomeness. And then um, there's other things that we're going to do to fill that very easily from within XSky. That is what I used to teach with Message Magic to build targeted lists and um, to create your categories. But it, it was very hard doing it manually from within Skype. So now with the filtering and the category categorizing that Jeff has put in place. Hi, Jeff. Hello. Um, <laughs> um, we uh, have a lot easier time of, of creating those targeted lists or categorizing and filtering, filtering our, um, our contacts. So we've been through help, we've been through categories, let's move over to users. We have to have some checked. So 
what should I do? Um, let's say everyone who ever got Skype tips from me, I'm going to check all of them and let them know about XSky. A lot of people wanted Skype tips from me. Okay, so that's how you uh, check off a whole... These are all categories. Yeah. Mm. So all of those are checked in my Skype tips category. And so once you have some users checked, you can e either... Uh, you can go to users and go to checked users and you can send a friend request. Um, you can add checked to a category. Like say I wanted all of them in my X guy category. I can add them to my X guy category. It's a lot harder with mine because I have so many categories. Uh oh, keep going down. Come on, X guy. Where are you? There. That's how I would add them to the, to the category. So now all the people that wanted Skype tips, I'm going to give them a Skype tip about XSky. So uh, I am adding all of my Skype tips people to XSky. And that means that they're still in that category, but I'm also adding them to this one. So I can pick all of these categories and say, who are the people that I want in my XSky category? And it's that easy. Why is it saying, please wait? Is it doing something down here? Let's see. Oh, it's doing a little flashy thing. That's something that Jeff's working on. I think I saw 95. 19 checked. It looks like X guy was my 80th category. <laughs> so um, the process finished, and I have unchecked this one, which I had checked a moment ago, and I have moved the category to... Uh, or to the people in one category into another. Now they're, they're still here. I still have all those people interested in my Skype tips. But the reason why I want to uncheck that and check this, XSky, which was empty before and was gray, gray now it's blue. So that worked. <laughs> and I want to show that there's 170, 174 checked. Um, what's interesting is that should be the same number, and I don't remember that that was the number. But uh, one way to check would be to uncheck that and check this. And I would think it would be the same. Oh, just two off. No, wait. 219 versus... Should be the same number of people. 174. Strange. Um, this is one thing that, that really... I'm finding we have to do often, and I'm hoping there's sort of an automatic process that Jeff sets up eventually, but we want to actually uncheck all between doing things. Um, Just to be on the safe side that you're not accidentally adding other categories, yeah. Yeah. I sent a broadcast to um, a Japan group because I helped with the Japan crisis, and my blog group was already was checked from a previous broadcast, and so they all got it. <laughs> they all got it. So I have to remember to uncheck between doing different things. So now there's zero checked down here. So that's important to start getting used to what it says down here. Your number of contacts, your number of checked, number of categories. Mostly, I think this is going to be useful. Or if you add contacts, uh, maybe you extract from a group room, that number is going to go up. Your contacts is going to go up. Let's see what else. Yeah. So that's good to know. 